I'm Alan Chang, the Chief Engineer of the North Development Office of Civil Engineering Development Departments. Um, I'm responsible for the implementations of uh, Kutong North and Fanning North New Development Areas first phase. Um, including the remaining phase, uh, these projects can accommodate an additional population of um, 230,000 people and uh, will create um, around 53,000 new jobs. Um, this project is the first project implemented under the Northern Metropolis, um, which is now in full swing, um, aiming for completions in 2026. It is my great pleasure that um, this project has been shortlisted today um, under the category Demonstrating Carbon Dioxide Reduction Initiatives um, Toward Net Zero. Um, this project um, forms a core part of the um, Hong Kong multi pronged land supply strategies um, of the Northern Metropolis. Um, it is located um, at the middle zone of the northern metropolis. It is as a um, strategic location adjacent to the railway link, the um, um, highways and uh, existing boundary control points. Combining with the uh, rich natural and um, ecological resources within the area, um, it will be developed as a mixed development nook uh, with the um, combinations of um, land for uh, natural and ecological conservations, as well as a mix of residential, commercial and agricultural uses. The project teams has paid tremendous effort in ecological conservation and enhancement of construction practice to reduce the carbon footprint. The project has some major special initiatives um, that include the um, development of a 37 hectares uh, Long Valley Nature Park to balance the uh, urban developments and conservations by um, increasing the ecological values of wetland and enhancing the biodiversity. Um, under this project, um, 8 hectares wetland area was created and the number of birds recorded has increased by 40% compared with that before the project implementations. Um, there was also a record of black winged steeds nesting and breeding in the Long Valleys for the first time in um, 2021. And also in uh, 2021 and 2023, uh, the first discovery of uh, long firm snipe and the second delivery of Lapland long spur in Hong Kong were recorded. Um, the number of uh, critically endangered uh, yellow-breasted bunting recorded in recent years has also been increased by three times. The above records um, have proven the Long Valley project successful in uh, natural conservations, which stands as a very good example for reference um, by future development projects in the northern metropolis. Another initiative um, is the use of uh, lightweight S960 ultra high strength steel for the two foot, two foot bridges, under which the uh, manufacturing and the delivery of uh, heavy concrete and uh, reinforcement are minimized and thereby uh, reducing the carbon emissions by um, more than 2,000 tons. It also reduced the risk of conflict with um, underground utilities by minimizing the number of columns and foundations of the footbridge. The use of S960 will achieve time saving of four months, um, as well as a cost saving for around um, 10 million Hong Kong dollars. On the pilot's use of S960 could um, promote the um, further developments of design standards and broaden the use of high strength steel, leading to a big step forward um, to driving the um, carbon reduction in construction industry. Um, besides, we uh, promote the uh, yard waste management to encourage the reuse of yard waste and explore many ways to upcycling through um, collaboration with uh, other government departments, local institutions and non-government organizations. And um, also, we adopt the MIC method uh, for the extended use in the major structures, uh, for example, in public toilet, in uh, refuse collection points, in uh, playground and ciliary blocks and service block. And also we have the installation of solar panel on our building structures, um, the use of recycled materials for exterior surfacing, a high efficiency air conditioning system, lighting equipment with uh, low lightning power density, rainwater harvesting facilities. All the above can achieve an annual energy saving and reduce the carbon emission. Our project was conceived um, not just an infrastructure development, but um, it is a step forward, um, our collective responsibility to the, uh, to the environment. We understand that the challenge ahead of us, but we are driven by the visions of a greener and a cleaner world. Through innovative design, um, meticulous planning, and unwavering dedications, 
um, we have demonstrated that it is possible to significantly reduce the carbon emissions without compromising on quality and efficiency. Our success is a clear message that sustainability is not just an option, it is the only way forward. Hong Kong has experienced more um, frequent extreme weather um, due to climate change. Notably, the uh, hourly rainfall records uh, has been broken several times in uh, recent decades. The number of hot nights uh, and the very hot days has increased, while the cold days have decreased um, over the last century. Sustainable and carbon reduction infrastructure and um, construction practice um, can enhance Hong Kong resilience against this challenge. Uh, it is also CDC strategies to build Hong Kong a uh, livable, resilient, and sustainable cities. The Hong Kong infrastructure projects um, adopting the NEC contracts indeed can um, use some options to achieve sustainability and um, carbon reductions. The um, construction industry can uh, leverage the NEC4 contracts to address the um, carbon emissions and promote sustainability. The Development Bureau and um, the Works Bureau, including CDD, adopting the NEC um, ECC Hong Kong additions, which has already included uh, Option X29 climate change clauses. And this optional clause um, actually allows the uh, clients to include climate change requirements um, in the contract scope. The contractor must comply with these requirements, uh, which can cover um, CO2 reductions in contractor design, uh, use of uh, low carbon materials, uh, biodiversity uh, obligations, and even uh, on-site renewable uh, power during the constructions. NEC contract can um, incentivize uh, waste reduction and um, energy efficient uh, construction methods and materials. By setting um, environmental uh, performance key indicators, in option X20 key performance indicators, the contractors can be motivated um, to reduce the emissions. The use of uh, low carbon construction material and resources to reduce construction waste actually require the mutual trust and cooperation of the contracting parties, including the um, client, consultant, and contractor. Our S960 high strength steel footbridge uh, can achieve both time and cost saving, as well as reducing carbon emissions. It's a very good example. And to conclude, sustainability and carbon reductions are vital um, for Hong Kong's resilient, um, environmental well-being, and long-term development. It is glad to see that the um, NEC Martin Barnes Award highlight the achievements in sustainability to drive positive change and uh, inspire others. As we celebrate these momentous occasions, let us remember that this is not just the beginning, and there is much more to be done. And each of us has a role to play in achieving carbon neutrality by 2050.